I was wondering if you could help us uh, explain to the, to the good people in London like, why you're out protesting as well. Like other people are in London today, you're coordinating the process. Yes. Why does, what, what is uh, ACTA and how does that end up uh, being censorship? What's, what's the, how does that happen? How's they, what are they proposing? That causes that well, they're, they're, they're posing as a, a trade agreement. That's what okay. TA stands for. So it's the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement. Yeah, yeah. And um, the, the trade agreement is, is, is called into life to uh, limit piracy or actually to, to stop piracy. Sounds, sounds great, no? Well, it, it sounds great to some people. Some other people might say, no, I want like free movies. But that's not the point of why we're protesting here. Because okay. ACTA means a lot more than just putting an end to piracy. ACTA means that your internet service provider will be obliged to, um, to help in investigation and to actually be responsible for your internet traffic. Uh, on the same scale, forums and internet communities um, will be responsible for the user's content. The, the, so if I put an image online that belongs to Disney, right. then the uh, forum or the user community can be held accountable for having that picture online. So like and Facebook. So, so like Facebook, yeah, yeah or like um, uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia help responsible for my use of their community. Can't, can't uh, Facebook and Wikipedia uh, afford to, to do that? You know, they're benefiting, aren't they, from uh, this kind of user-generated content? Isn't there kind of something in it for them to, to help police the internet? Is that right that they help police the internet? It might be, but uh, maybe those uh, really big examples that everybody knows of uh, have the expenses and the money to actually have that kind of policing on their community. And I think most communities won't have the means to have moderation for the content. Okay, so, so you're worried about uh, maybe the smaller companies not being able to handle this? I'm worried about it only the smaller companies, it's only one part of it, because okay. it, it's, it's one of the worries, yes. At this moment, uh, piracy might be piracy under the intellectual property laws, right? but I think it's a really good discussion to talk about intellectual properties in the 21st century, what they mean, and if they're still up to date. Like we can call it piracy, but we can say, well, maybe the line is not as thick anymore as it used to be. Maybe we need to adapt our laws to the new circumstances. And I think with act in place, it will be impossible to have a reasonable discussion about it because it will just be the companies holding a tight squeeze on the internet to say, what ours is ours. You cannot ever use anything like that. Right. Thanks, thanks for, for, for telling us that. You're very welcome. Well, thank you. Very, very glad to have you here. Actually, good luck to the viewers in London and all the protesters there. Thanks, so much. Thanks to Rick for speaking to me in Amsterdam. We were insanely lucky to bump into him. Now that I'm back in London, I'd like to share a few thoughts about libertarianism and how it applies to ACTA. First, I'd like to clarify the moral dimension. As a libertarian objectivist, I do believe there is a best moral code to live by. Other libertarians believe morality is entirely personal, but what we all agree on is that politics and morality should be considered one at a time. It takes some of the emotion out of the debate. If you can agree that piracy is morally questionable, certainly controversial, and then start with a fresh mind to consider the political and legal consequences of piracy. ACTA primarily targets internet service providers and the owners of online communities. If you believe that morality is about making choices, then it's difficult to get upset with these groups. They are not choosing to pirate videos, nor are they making and selling them. They are third parties to the piracy. Filmmakers, on the other hand, are doing a bad job of selling films online legally. An open rights group report showed that compared to physical DVDs, online movies are overpriced and many good movies aren't even available yet. No wonder that people pirate movies. Piracy is a better way of getting hold of the movies. It seems to me that movie makers would prefer to impose themselves onto ISPs by commissioning the force of law. They want the ISPs to help get rid of a competitor, but they could try and outsell in the marketplace. If ISPs were to break this law, then the ultimate sanction is that they go to jail. This seems uncivilised at best. After all, putting people in jail is a form of violence. These are third parties.
laws should be in place to protect liberty, not to make slaves out of business owners just because their customers are doing something immoral. The one moral principle that libertarians agree should be part of politics forbids that kind of thing. That's called the non-aggression principle. Political institutions should uphold that principle without transgressing it themselves, as ACTA does.